we want to determine the limit of the rational function as x approaches to infinity. We'll take a look at two methods for doing this. First, we will analyze the degree of the numerator and denominator to determine the limit, and then we'll take a more algebraic approach. Let's begin by determining the degree of the numerator and denominator. Notice the degree of the numerator is four, the highest power on x, and the degree of the denominator is five, again, the highest power on x. Notice the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, which falls under case one, where if the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, the limit is zero. So the limit of the rational function as x approaches infinity is equal to zero. The reason it's zero is because the higher power of x is in the denominator, which indicates the denominator is growing faster than the numerator and the values approach zero. The second method we'll take to find this limit is the more algebraic approach of dividing the terms in the numerator and denominator by the highest power of the variable in the denominator. So notice how the highest power of the variable in the denominator is x to the fifth. We will now divide each term in the numerator and denominator by x to the fifth. And now we simplify each fraction. In the numerator, three x to the fourth divided by x to the fifth simplifies to three divided by x minus three x squared divided by x to the fifth is equal to three divided by x cubed, and plus eight divided by x to the fifth doesn't simplify. In the denominator, two x cubed divided by x to the fifth is two divided by x squared, plus x to the fifth divided by itself simplifies to one, plus three divided by x to the fifth doesn't simplify. From here, if we have a fraction where the numerator is a constant, and the denominator is approaching positive or negative infinity, the value always approaches zero. So three divided by x approaches zero as x approaches infinity. Three divided by x cubed approaches zero as x approaches infinity. And eight divided by x to the fifth also approaches zero as x approaches infinity. So notice the numerator is zero. In the denominator, two divided by x squared approaches zero as x approaches infinity. Notice one is not affected by x as x approaches infinity. And finally, three divided by x to the fifth approaches zero as x approaches infinity. Simplifying, we now just have zero over one or zero divided by one, which is equal to zero. I hope you found this helpful.